Can anything come from nothing? To help us think about this question, I begin with a universal observation. Random chunks of matter never spontaneously flood into existence from nothing. You never see a turtle pop into existence. Same for a goat, a banana, the next iPhone, or a blue cube. None of these things ever just appear randomly from nothing. This sort of observation is so familiar that it is easy to lose sight of its significance. No matter where we go or what time it is, we repeat these observations again and again. Our observations are never interrupted by a flood of purple spheres. But why not? Think about this. There are infinitely many possible objects of any size and shape. So why don't any of these possible objects come into existence just uncaused? None of them came into existence before your eyes in the last 30 seconds, right? But why not? Now some people have proposed that only small things can come from nothing. These things are virtual particles. But actually, virtual particles are not coming from nothing, not complete nothing. They're coming from prior states of energy. Also, there's a deeper problem with this proposal. The problem is that size doesn't seem to be a relevant difference. Consider this. There are imaginary cubes smaller than any virtual particles. But then why don't these tiny cubes ever come from nothing? Also, why don't entirely new laws of physics come from nothing? By all observation, none of these things ever come from nothing. We can also use the light of reason. The light of reason extends our vision beyond our local observations. For example, just as our observations of gravity on Earth let us see that gravity holds beyond the Earth, so too our observations of causal order on the Earth, things coming from other things, let us see that the causal order holds beyond the Earth. How do we see this? We see beyond our local observations by seeing the simplest hypothesis that explains all of our observations. So what is the simplest hypothesis that matches our observations about beginnings? To help with this question, I offer three additional questions for you to consider. First, why don't new chunks of reality ever appear from nowhere? Second, why think some beginning is relevantly different from any other beginning? That is to say, why think that there's some beginning that would need a cause, while other beginnings would not. Is there some relevant difference? Third, what is the simplest hypothesis that accounts for all your observations? In your hand, these questions are tools that can serve you as you consider whether anything could come from nothing. So why does any of this matter? Here are three reasons. First, the causal order is relevant to the kind of world you live in. Your life is like a story, and your world is the setting of your story. What's your story about? Can things happen in your world for no reason without any cause? Did the setting of all stories come ultimately from nothing? Understanding the setting of your story affects your understanding of the nature of your story. And your understanding of the nature of your story affects how you live within your story. Second, I'll be honest. I want you to see that things don't just happen without any cause or condition. I want you to see this first because I think it is true, and second because seeing this gives you greater power to build your life in accordance with actual reality. Things aren't random. You can find the causes of things, and then by doing that you can cause your life to improve along the lines of your desires. Third, as a philosopher, I simply find these questions insatiably interesting. Did our entire reality come from nothing? Or is some part of our reality eternal? These questions are profoundly interesting in their own right. Whatever your answers to these questions, I hope this video serves you. Thank you for watching and stay curious.